Hi guys, I came up with uh, something new, what I think will be really cool. So I'm mixing up resin, and what I'm going to do is put it in a little baggie, because I know a lot of you won't have these piping bags. So I'm putting it in here, because everyone has a Ziploc bag, right? Now, what I want to make, and I'm not sure if it's going to work, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it will. Let's see. Let's get that down here. But I'll have to do it in a uh, couple of takes because I'm uh, afraid that the uh, resin will dry out or get hard. You know what I mean. So we're going to put the resin in this bag like that. As you can see, nicely in the corner. I think I have my lenses a little bit mushy, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, it is mushy. So let me clean you guys up a little bit. That's better. Okay, now I'm going to cut off a little, little tip here. And I'm going to trace as well as I can. I'm going to be tracing what I have put under the plastic. And it goes pretty fast. I wasn't expecting that, that it was going to go that fast. So there we go. working. So when I finish this, and this is going to take a couple of times like I told you guys because um, I want it a little bit thicker than it is right now. But as you can see it's pretty easy if you do it with one of these little zippy bags. Just gotta make sure I don't drag the bag through uh, what I already did. And I'm hoping to make this coral. Of course, I'm gonna make it stand up. I do see that it's flattening out pretty more than I uh, bargained for, but that's okay because then I'll just come back over it just one more time. So I'm not going to bore you to death with me tracing these lines. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm uh, finished with this one. I think there's a little bit more in there, but let's see if we can do that. It is kind of fun work to do, so it's kind of relaxing, kind of zen-like. And I'm not really thinking it's something that no one can do. It's like everyone can do this. You just follow the lines, right? So I'm pretty sure there will be a lot more things that you can come up with that you can trace as long as you have the uh, high build resin, it's going to work. Doesn't have to be exactly like it, right? But if you can, I think as long as you stick to it pretty much, it's going to work. So this is uh, the first one. And I'm going to take a little break because um, I want this to dry a little bit because when I do the second bit I want to see what happens when I double over it because I want it to be uh, a little higher than it is right now there it goes it has to be built up so I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna do a second pass and um, in the second one, I'm going to make this a little bit narrower 
and I'm going to put a little bit of glitter in there so that I can trace it right through the middle and that will have a little bit more of a sparkle to it but as I'm seeing it right here it's uh, I think it's perfect it was exactly what I was looking for uh, the only thing that I would do uh, better next time is uh, stretch out this this plastic just a little bit better because it's starting to see that it's buckling a little bit you have to watch out for that so let's see if we can fix that right now yeah that's better so uh, I'll see you back when I do the second bit bye bye okay guys this is the next day what happened <laughs> okay I couldn't keep my hands off it last night so I picked it up like this but it was still really you know flexible and it all folded on top of each other as you can see here because see this isn't how I made it so it sort of collapsed on each other and then it was still sticky so it stayed like that but the good thing is now I can see it really works because uh, you can put this put this right up on a little stand which I can make for it with resin and there we have a really nice beautiful coral as you can see now normally I would uh, do another layer on top of this and I think I just might because it's just a waste to throw this away just because it collapsed on each other see there that was a bit that was collapsed and here it really got messed up but as you can see it it was more of experimenting to see if I did this if it could stand up now you could do two variations of this you could do another layer on top here make it you know twice as thick and it will this will really work as a decor decoration piece but what you could also do is do two layers then turn it around do a layer on the back and that way you'll ha you can you know this is the not the so nice side as you can see and this is the really nice corally sort of a side but then if you do the back also it wouldn't matter which way you uh, look at it it would be 3d so I think um, I was going to do the whole thing over and just uh, you know show this and then do the whole thing over again but I'm thinking of just fixing this I'm gonna put some on top then I'm really gonna wait because this this is high build and uh, this is a new resin from Eli Chem and um, it's all sort of you know about experimenting so I'm going to uh, do that I'm going to fix this put one layer on top then put a layer on the back and that's it but another thing I wanted to mention is if you if you use a, a little bit of acrylic ink for the coloring of this high build it will um, cure much much faster than with uh, with the, what I put in the mica pigments the mica pigments it sort of uh, retards the curing time so it takes a lot lot longer because yesterday I put a second layer here but as you can see it's all it went straight through so it sort of joined the first layer and you can't see that I put a second layer on top you can see that this is thinner than this one but it just got a little bit broader this one is thinner as you can see so if I'm gonna do a top layer on here it'll stay thin as to here it's you know just thicker or wider I should say so this is where it went wrong you can see it's all out of shape but I'm gonna do it anyway I'm going to uh, finish this off so um, I'll be back to show you the finished result and remember this is not the normal resin because I'm not sure you're gonna be uh, able to do that with normal resin this is a uh, high build and this is especially made to come up you know to build up high so I'll be back with the finished product thanks for watching
Hi guys, I'm back and we're going to be doing the uh, stand because we want to make uh, the coral stand up. We want to put it somewhere where we can look at it in all its beauty. So what I'm doing now is I'm mixing resin and I put in um, beach sand. I'm putting in just a little bit more. As you can see, here's the beach sand. So we're putting that in the resin and we're going to just make sure that some of it touches the coral. There you go. As you can see, and of course we need the back to have the same little bit of resin. There you go. And the side, of course. And a little bit more at the back. A little bit more in the front. I want the front to be a little bigger because we're going to be putting, um, I'm going to do another layer after this is cured and then we're going to put some uh, shells on there too. So that's what the plan is. A little bit more. Like that. That's okay, that's uh, going to make it uh, stand up really nice. And of course we're going to do a second layer over that. Maybe make it a little bit bigger, not sure yet. We'll see how, how it stands up when this is dry. Just have to clean off a little bit. There it goes. Okay, so that's uh, the stand. So we'll wait till that is dry. I have to do it a little bit neater than I did. There it is. So uh, we'll wait till that is dry. Then we'll add another. Then we'll add some shells. And then we'll see what happens. So <laughs> be right back. Okay, guys. This is the second layer on the uh, little stand thing. But I gave it a different color because I, th I just thought that you know, the the white kind of a sand. I didn't like it. So what I did is I put some, uh, some blue glitter in there. A little bit too much, but it'll work out. So that's that. Put some on the back. Like this. And I want some more here on the side. Because that's where we're going to put the little shells on. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger down here. I'll take you guys back a little bit. And everything's sticking really sticking a lot I think that looks okay and now for the little oops I don't think that's gonna work okay well I needed um, tweezers, but I can't find my tweezers like normally. I can never find anything, but okay, it'll have to work. So I'm going to put 
little shelves down there. Not too many because you don't want to overdo it. But a few nice dark brown ones because that goes so well with the uh, with the co color of the coral. That looks kind of nice. And I have a few white ones, a little bit bigger. That one's okay there. And I want one looking in the other side of it. And a small one, of course. I'm going to turn that one around a little bit and put that one down there. So, that's it. Don't want too many of those things. I was thinking of putting in a little bit of driftwood. Like, I have a really tiny dr driftwood, but I think that's going to overdo it. So, we're not going to do that. That's a lovely shell too. This is beautiful. But yeah, it's too much. So we'll just keep it like that. Well, maybe one another sort of shell like this one. Putting that one down there. Yeah, that looks better. Okay. So this is it. I'm going to let this dry and then we're going to take the uh, tape off that's holding it um, straight up so um, I'll see you back tomorrow when it's all dried up and I can put it somewhere else and show you what it turned into but like I said if I was going to do this again there are a couple of things I would do differently and that is make the coral pattern um, wider with more space in between then I would make the sand, turn it back to uh, sand color. I think I like that better. But you know, you only see, you can only do something and then think, okay, maybe not not as good as I thought it was going to be. But that's just how it goes. That's why uh, you need to experiment, and that's why you watch my videos so you don't make the same mistakes I do. So that all turns out great. So I'll show you this tomorrow. I hope we have a little bit of sun so I can show it in the sun because it's going to be really nice and sparkly. So thanks for watching everyone. Love you all to pieces. Bye-bye. Hello guys. Well, this is uh, what it uh, turned into. So this is the finished product. And I am going to... Uh, do the the blue I'm gonna make it you know sandy color again because I think that is better but this is uh, what it looks like so uh, this is my project thanks for watching bye bye guys